So I'm not going to speculate on a, on a decision that's, uh, you know, for the U.S. administration to make. Uh, we certainly understand here in Canada that the environment and the economy go together. And there's a huge economic opportunity when it comes uh, to uh, clean technologies and, and innovation. Uh, I was very proud that provinces, uh, businesses, indigenous leaders, environmentalists, and all Canadians came together uh, to help develop our climate change, our pan-Canadian climate change plan that was announced last year. This should not be a, a partisan issue. In Canada, I've seen that. People understand that we need to be tackling climate change and we need to make sure uh, that we're also uh, taking advantage of the, the economic opportunity and the trillions of dollars, uh, as Mark Carney, the governor of the Bank of England, has put it. I've had many conversations with my U.S. counterpart to make the economic case, um, also to make the case that 90 percent of the Paris Agreement remains to be negotiated and it's better to be at the table. We certainly will be at the table uh, playing a leadership role because we think it's the right thing to do and it makes economic sense. I want Canadian innovations, which I'm seeing across the country, uh, to help pro solve problems here but also to be exported and create good jobs. And we're seeing that across the board. Uh, there are companies that are doing incredible things um, and I think this is really a, a huge opportunity for Canada and no one uh, government can stop the, the momentum. <laughs>